If you have somebody in your life and you are not sure if they are toxic, keep watching because I'm going to be giving you the seven ways to determine whether someone in your life is toxic. The first way to determine whether somebody or not is toxic is anytime you share something good that's going in your life, you can tell that they're not happy for you. In fact, respond with some sort of cynicism or some condescending remark, and you can tell that they're just not genuinely happy for you because when you share something with them, you don't feel like you're being celebrated back or they're like, yeah, good for you, congratulations, I'm so proud of you. You get some more of a watered down, cynical, they don't acknowledge the good work that you've done, they don't acknowledge the thing in your life that's happened. So that's the first way. The fourth way, that you can determine whether someone is toxic or not is that they never admit to their mistakes. Even if you say to them, listen, what you said hurt me, or you know, I really don't like when you talk to me that way, or just you express anything to them that they might have done to intentionally or not un or unintentionally hurt you, and you try to tell them, they immediately defend themselves. They don't own up to their mistakes. In fact, they start to defend it and then they turn it around on you. That's called gaslighting. You end up apologizing for stuff that you didn't even do. So the fourth trait of someone that's toxic is that they can never admit to their mistakes. The second way to know if somebody is toxic is anytime you're with them, all they do is gossip. They're talking about this person in their life. They're talking about that person. They always find some way to talk shit about everybody else. Trust and believe if they're gossiping about other people, they're gossiping about you. The third way to know if somebody's toxic is that they talk down to you. Maybe you've been around this person for so long that you don't even realize that they're talking down to you. So here's one way to really figure out whether or not they're talking down to you. When you leave them or when you're in their presence, you feel worse than when you first got to them. If you were in a somewhat of a good mood, then you come around this toxic person, you're gonna feel worse. And if they can find every opportunity to just put you down, make fun of you, belittle you, be cynical, be condescending, and they just talk down to you, the fifth way to know if somebody's toxic is that anytime you're with them, it is always drama, drama, drama. It really have nothing else to talk about or bring to the table other than all the drama in their life. You end up feeling exhausted? What the hell was that about? It's probably because they're extremely toxic and they're dramatic and they bring that to the every interaction that you have and that leaves you feeling like what the hell just happened. So the fifth way that you know if somebody's toxic or not is that it's always drama. The sixth way you know if somebody is toxic is that they come in and out of your life like a revolving door. They may ghost you, they may avoid your phone calls or your texts. Sometimes you'll go weeks without hearing from them then they come back and they act like everything's okay. They don't really value how Having healthy communication. They have no problem walking in and out of your life. You're wondering if that person in your life that just keeps coming in and out of your life, ghosting you, you like you can't get anything out of him or her. They're toxic because they keep walking in and out of your life. The seventh way that you know if somebody is toxic is that they lack gratitude. They're always complaining about someone or something. They never have anything positive to say about anything. Everything in their life is always like, this is happening to me. My life sucks. And they just bring about a very low vibrational energy and they just cannot see their ass from their elbow. They lack complete gratitude. And so if you're wondering if they're toxic or not, they are because they lack complete gratitude. And the truth is, sometimes you're the most toxic person in your life. Sometimes you're the one that's bringing drama to the table and you're always gossiping and you're tearing yourself down and you're tearing other people down and you're just never happy no matter what. I understand that because I used to be that person and I will tell you right now that you can absolutely change, but it takes dedication and it takes willingness and it takes working with someone who can call you out on your bullshit when you're being toxic, not only with others, but with yourself because the change starts with you. If you wanna stop being toxic and start being happy, like fully happy and generating your own happiness from the inside and stop waiting for somebody else to make you happy, message me. I want you to apply to work with me. Step up your game in 90 days.